confusion with the doctors hit from you. And when I change his diaper, he has a little erection. Really? We're talking all about it. The first year of motherhood revealed how the first year affects your sex life. My breast milk actually squirted all over him. He didn't like it. No. Now on Tyra. We all know I don't have kids, but I'm constantly hearing all this drama about women talking about the first year after they have a baby. I've had my friends saying that their hair falls out, that they have no sex drive, that their man is rubbing on them and they're like, get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a couple of friends that also say that they still look pregnant and they're complaining that they still look pregnant because people are going, well, what do you do? And they're like, I had my baby 10 months ago. <laughs> you know, hear this firsthand. We've got some doctors, we've got some specialists here, and we've got people in the audience that are going to be asking all kind of questions all about this first year mommyhood drama. Now, the whole audience is new mamas and daddies. Hi! on the t-shirts that is the best thing because like sometimes when you don't have kids and people are always want to show you your baby pictures you're like okay i'll look at another one <laughs> with the t-shirt it's like it's in their face you can't run away okay now we've got dr roshini rajapaksa she's the assistant professor of medicine at nyu medical center and a proud mama of three of a three-month-old son dylan yes. congratulations <laughs> contributor Dr. Suzanne Gilberg Lenz and primary care physician Dr. Carrie Peterson. Now, Karina, do you have a question with Karina? I yes, Karina. I do. What's your I stand on up, Karina? Stand <laughs> up. I breastfed my baby for six months, and during that time, my boobs got huge. Um, my husband loved it, but, you know, my baby loved it. However, um, now I've, I stopped breastfeeding, and I feel that my boobs are saggy. And I just wanted to know, now that my baby's nine months old and I've stopped breastfeeding for three months, will my boobs go back to normal? And did this happen because of breastfeeding, breast or was it just a pregnancy you know, thing. symptom. Yeah, it's, you know, sadly, you did a beautiful thing, first of all, and congratulations to you for breastfeeding for six months. That's amazing for you and for the baby. It is. You can do things to help. You can wear a supportive bra. The sad truth is, girlfriend, they're never going to be the same. And some of it is the pregnancy. You know, your body grows, your skin stretches, and then you have all this um, glandular development in the breast tissue in order to make the milk. And then when you're not using that, it collapses. And it goes. Yeah. Now yeah. there's some women whose boobs get like smaller, like really small, right. and then there's some women who, after they be the boobs get bigger and stay bigger. Well, most people, they yes, they can get bigger, but they always head south. They head south. I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> so the nipples used to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now are they going? Rrr, rrr, rrr. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Daisha has a question. What's your question, Daisha? Hi, I have a seven-month-old son, also named Dylan, oh. and um, what I noticed is I went almost my entire pregnancy with no stretch marks until about the eighth month, and I woke up one morning and I had stretch marks everywhere, on my stomach, on my legs, on my back. I used every cream, mother's friend, cocoa butter, everybody, and they're not going away, and they're, the baby's seven months old now. They faded, but they're not gone, and are they ever going to go away? 
Oh, Daisha, they, they may not ever go away, actually. Um, once you develop them, throw out the lotions, throw out the potions, because at this point you're just wasting your money on them. Women who get stretch marks get them because usually there's a genetic tendency. The skin can lose elasticity. And also, if you gain weight really rapidly, then you're more prone to them. But once you get them, they may gradually fade, but they don't usually go all the way away. There's a few things that you can try. First is ask your doctor for a retinoid cream. If you apply it to your belly after you finish breastfeeding. What kind of cream? Reti retinoid. Retinoid. retinoid like okay. a retin-A, actually. It. It's used on your skin for acne, actually. And it may help fade them a little bit. And then another option for you is laser therapy, but don't don't spend the money on that until after you're finished having children because yeah. the stretch marks can come back. But what the laser does, it's done by a dermatologist and it stimulates collagen production and it can actually fade the lines a little bit. So you may, you have some hope. They're, they may fade a little bit more. Yeah. I know it's a little harder for women of color uh, with stretch it marks. Is. They show more on mm -hmm. us than it is. women they, that they're, are they're whiter darker. skin. Yeah. They're darker. Or they really see. whiter on our dark skin. It's like either or. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was like really, really skinny when I was 98 pounds and 12 years old and five nine I had stretch marks right. on the side of my butt for some reason like white cat cat scratches yeah. like Arr! and then as I gained weight they went away so mine was the opposite my it, fat they, filled they in they filled them out and actually you know Tyra for for the lighter marks actually the laser can target both colors of stretch marks light and dark oh it can mm -hmm. oh so that's good news mm -hmm. now <laughs> Melissa's got a question where's Melissa Melissa, what's your question? So, I had my daughter Jenna four months ago, and my hair has been falling out in handfuls. I'm on a first-name basis with my plumber trying to get, to get them to clean the drain, and I just want to know why it's falling out and when it's going to stop. Yeah, what's up yeah. with the hair falling out? This thing? definitely happens. You know, when you're pregnant, you know how you get that thick, luxurious hair? That's because more of your hair is in the growing state. Now, when you deliver, those hormones change, and you kind of go back to your baseline, but it takes a while. So it's gonna, all that excess hair is going to shed. It looks like a lot, but eventually it will get back to normal, usually within a year. So the hair sheds on the head. Does it shed, or like, is your armpit hair, like, less? <laughs> Or is it just... No such luck. It's really just on your <laughs> It's just on, on the head. head. Yeah. Okay. Brooke, do you have a question? Um, yeah, my daughter's three months now. Is that her on your shirt? Let me see yeah. her on your shirt. So cute. Thank you, Layla. Um, I was told that I was going to leak when I was pregnant. So for the longest time, I wore pads inside my bra. I was worried about leaking that at work. That your breasts were going to leak milk. Yeah. I was worried about leaking at work and being embarrassed, just the whole thing. After I had her, three weeks, four weeks, still hadn't leaked, so I gave up on the pads. Then finally, I woke up one night to feed her. I was soaked. She was soaked. We both had to change. I was wondering how I could prevent that. Sure. So, first of all, it sounds like you have a lot of milk, which is great for your baby, and, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But sometimes you have too much milk, and you can't, your baby can't keep up with it. So what you need to do is pump a little bit in between the feeds. And, you know, a lot of women hate pumping. They think it's unnatural. It's annoying. They, they don't have the time to do it. Well, there's some great hands-free bras that you can use. We actually have one here. If you want to come down, we can show you how to put it on. And this is great because you can actually talk on the phone, do the Internet, whatever you want while you're using Very one of cool. These. How do you oh. put it on her? Yeah, it looks like quite a contraption, <laughs> but it's really easy to use. It's basically just Velcro in the back, and if you don't mind here, and... Should I put the straps on or no? No, we don't have to put the straps on, but you, you would like at home. It's like the new Victoria's Secret. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Slash Madonna. And uh, basically, it just attaches like this. I'm sorry if I'm pulling no, too hard okay. there. But basically, this is what you wear. You can attach this to the breast pump. Okay. And it's going to do its thing. You don't have to hold on to these. And you can do whatever you want for 10, 20 minutes. You can, like, wash the dishes and yeah. stuff? <laughs> yeah. Just hold and do that. Out there too. I, I like to search the internet or talk on the phone. Can you just one at a time? You can do just one at a time as do, well. Yeah. Do breast pumps hurt? You know, it depends on the woman, and you can adjust the strength. So Got you it. definitely, when you're first using it, make sure it's on the lowest setting yeah. and okay. inch your way up. And it makes noise, right? Like, yeah. 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 It's like being on a farm. <laughs> it's yeah. like being on a farm. The first time your, your partner or man sees it, they're going to freak out. They're going to freak out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have three new moms there here, and they yeah. all share some of the issues that women have after having a baby, and that's the after baby body issue. You know, like, doesn't look the same. What's going on when my body looks different? Come on out, ladies. We're going to talk about your, your issues. Come on out. What's going on with your after baby body issue? Tara, I think we all have the same issue here. Our bumps will not go away. They're still there. 
The bum. Yeah. Okay, so all of you guys have that issue. Yeah, you know what, Tyra? Let me tell you a story. Um, for instance, I was out to lunch with my friends. We were out having sushi. You no, know, when you have sushi, you're not allowed. When you're pregnant, you can't have sushi. Yes. Mm. And a woman actually came up to me and told me not to eat it because I was pregnant. <laughs> when in fact, I wasn't. And I was so offended. <laughs> I never, you know, it's very hurtful when someone comes up to you and says, oh, how far along are you and yeah. you're not even pregnant. What about you, Patricia? Something happened to you on a subway. Oh, my goodness. It is unbelievable. I was standing on the train. So for about five minutes, this guy's looking at me and I turn away. Then I turn back and he's gesturing for me to come sit down. When I refused, he like insisted. I told him, you know, no, I'm not pregnant. He acted apologetic, but he was like staring at my stomach like, oh, uh, <laughs> Oh gosh, I wish we could yes. like slap him right now. This yes. way. I wanted to and actually move into the next car. Yeah, I like, didn't want to stay there. Andrea, you have a baby after baby body story? I do, yeah, I was actually waiting at the bus station and this guy came up to me and he was like, oh, so when are you due? And I was like, oh my God, I had my baby three months ago. It was just so embarrassing. I just wanted to go home. Dr. Rosh, how long does it take for the baby bump to go away, to fade? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really variable. And I, one thing 